Hello everyone, this is DWizard1 here, and today we are going to be looking at an item that I was really trying to get for many, many years. Um, this is what I like to call Kroger Carl. More specifically, this is the 2007 Jimmy Life Size Dr. Shivers animatronic, but this is the one that was sold at Kroger. Now, why is that significant to me? It's because that's really the place where I kind of discovered all of these things. And, you know, 2007 was the year that they had, like, Dr. Shivers and the Great-Haired Butler and Spirit Balls and all of that at Kroger. And that's, you know, I went there in 2006, and I had seen stuff, but 2007 was a pretty crazy year for this grocery store. I mean, they had, um, like, six or seven large-size animatronics. They had a ton of tabletops and some inflatables on top of that. So really a huge variety for a place like a, a grocery store to be carrying. Now of course today it's the complete opposite. They may have a few lights, a few like pose and stay skeletons and then just some candy. You know, so they've completely dropped off the market when it comes to having a wide variety of Halloween decorations. Now this guy had it took a lot to get him to this point. Um, when he was on eBay, he was honestly a pretty great deal for today's standards, but I bought him in 2020, and, you know, it was still arguably a good price considering he had the box and everything, but it was still kind of high for me at least at the time, and when I got him, you know, he had the box, which was terrific, he had the goggles, the gloves were not dry rotted, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, you know, just had all this stuff, but, and I put that video on the, my channel already, but when I first tested him, the functions were not working as they should have been. Uh, the mouth was not working, the beaker was not lighting up, and most significantly, the sound was not working. It turns out that was a notable circuit board problem for all of that. And after a lot of extensive effort by, uh, once again, C.J. Wilkler, uh, that board could not be revived. It just had so many issues. And then another board was put in it. This is actually, I believe, board number three that is in this guy. And it uses a sound chip from board one or two. I think board number two. So it's just a lot of really bad luck with getting this guy electronically working. However, the head turn mechanism has never split at all. It's very quiet for a gear-driven mechanism. Um, the beaker has been refilled fully, so it has liquid like when it was brand new. Um, the original goggles I have on top of the box, but they were like sticky and warped weirdly. So this actually has goggles from another Dr. Shivers on it that I believe is a 2006 model. Um, but probably the most significant thing cosmetically is that the gloves were not dry rotted. Now, I believe this to be the case in general, but uh, 2006 models tend to have dry rotting on the gloves way more often than the 2007 models. I guess it's the particular kind of latex they used. And unlike the, uh, the faces and other aspects of Jimmy items, for most Jimmy items, the gloves are latex instead of a soft PVC, which is why the like the face is on the collapsible characters. They don't dry rot because that's not what they are. Um, but the gloves are latex. Maybe these 2007 gloves are a different material than latex, but I'm pretty sure they are the same, similar material to the 2006. But if you want one where there's a lesser chance of the gloves dry rotting, go for a 2007. The easiest and quickest way to tell if it's a 2007, if it has the box, is that on the left side there where you see three white squares, um, there will be two squares on a 2006 model and three on the 2007, just a slight design change. Uh, when it comes to the body, there's a few key things to tell if you have a 2007 model or not. There will be a lot more like pink on the face of a 2007. The uh, undershirt will be a kind of a almost netted material, like hospital gown material, instead of nylon fabric. The, the like pants, if you will, will still be nylon, 
but not the shirt underneath the coat. Um, and if it's in new condition, the arm will be posed at an angle outward instead of straight up and down. So those are some pretty quick ways to determine what year it is. Now I'll go ahead and do some close-up details here. So as you can see, these gloves are basically perfect. I mean, I can just easily, you know, move them around at ease. There's no issues there. You can see the beaker has liquid in it in a pretty good amount. Here's the face. You can see just all of that extra uh, pink on the face with the paint. Um, you can see these goggles are in pretty nice condition. And something interesting, I don't know if this pertains to all 2007s, but this arm, like not the arm itself, but the glove and the sleeve are purely held up by the collar. So if I undid the collar at the top, then the arm would just kind of drop down which is interesting. So it definitely does add a little bit of tension to him. But his foam is in really nice condition as well on his shoulders. Now I'll show you these accessories. So he's got his microphone here fully intact. Still has the twist tie around it unless that was re-added on, which it probably was. There's the aux cord and then the two locking pins. If I have his instructions, then they are in my instructions binder, and I have not checked that today when I'm doing this video. Um, I don't believe there were any inserts in the box either, but truth be told, I think I have some spares that I can stick in there. But his box is honestly one of my favorite classic box designs. You know, it has the unique logo to it, and just it really does a good job of incorporating that kind of uh, red green style guide. You can see that he retailed at Kroger for $129.99. Today that would probably be $600 and I am not exaggerating that one bit. In a way the eBay prices are kind of accurate to how they would be if it was new just because of the materials used and the functions. But you can see all, you know, the doctor will see now. You can see this is a 2006 prototype. They photoshopped the purple button on the front there. That's why it looks so weird. Um, his eyes look from side to side as his head turns, his eyes and beak are wide up, you know, just a really well made item all around. And you can see that is the 2007 model. And there is a uh, graphic on the back side as well, and it's in pretty good shape also, it's just the side of the box is a little rough. Um, but yeah, that's enough of me talking about it. So, without further ado, I'll go through some of the phrases, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, I skipped that one, my bad. Quick! I, I need a victim! No, I, I mean, I, I need a guinea pig! No, I, I, I mean, a patient! No, just somebody lie down and close your eyes! So, yeah, he works amazing. You can tell that the head turn is really quiet. And the bun is very sensitive, as you saw I pushed in, it just kind of skipped the first phrase there. I know! Let's play a game! I call it... Run with Electricity! <laughs> um, ever since the incident, I've not been quite the same. Except for my shocking personality! <laughs> I say, if anyone have any batteries, I'm feeling a bit, 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 bit drained. Ah, a visitor. Please, make yourself comfortable. You're going to be here for a while. Also, in general, the 2007 models, to me at least, look a little more happy, I guess, rather than just sinister. Or maybe it's like a crazy look instead of just like an evil look. It's kind of hard to describe, but when you look at enough of them, you might see what I'm saying here. I need a volunteer for a little uh, experiment. Side effects may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and a slight loss of vital organs. 
So yeah, working very, very well. Um, the eyes move at full capacity, the mouth moves very well, the head turns great and quietly, the beaker is filled and all the lights work in it. Just, I could not be happier with this. And it's been quite a long journey to get to this point, but I'm so glad to have this guy and have it restored. Now, I'm going to do the phrases one more time, but I'll put it on sensor and I will back up all the way so you can kind of get a full shot of it in action. Well, I'm down here, there's the bass, you know, you have the three-way toggle switch and the microphone auxiliary and volume control. And yes, yeah, so put them on sensor now. phrases in the dark so you can see the full impact of the lighting. have it guys that is the 2007 Jimmy life size anime of dr. shivers sold at Kroger and various other stores that year I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching <laughs>